What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So what do we got for you guys today? We have a real steal coming in. Now I did take this out of the mailer because we have a big old box here and the mailer was even bigger. Uh, so I have not been into this guy yet. But uh, I figured I'd make it just a little bit easier for filming purposes here. And let's see what Real Steel has for us today. Massive shout out to them for sending this guy in for me to take a look at. So we have one of their FTP tools. Uh, I think these commonly come with the knives, I think. But uh, we have a T6, and 8, we have a flathead, and a Phillips head. So that is a nice little tool to throw in a kit or in a pouch. So let's get to the knife here, guys. I am ecstatic to check this out. We got a little bit of paperwork there. Nice little padding there. And then we have our knife housed within some padding and a microfiber cloth here. And this thing, guys, uh, I was on the website and I said this is one of the best looking knives on the website. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite knives that I have come across in quite a while. What we have, guys, is the Real Steel Huggin'. Now, this is going to be coming in their denim micarta. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe this, the Huggin is not a new model, but I believe this is a fairly new version of the Huggin. So we have a stonewashed drop point blade, and instead of the lighter blue denim micarta, we have this real dark navy blue, and it's some very fine looking stuff very minimal hardware and we have a unique touch here these are going to be flat heads and they are nice and smooth with the scale we have a full length backspacer my carta backspacer i love this uh brass uh accent with all the hardware the thumb studs the crossbar lock the liners this thing is a very nice looking knife the pocket clip as well uh, and then we have smooth tooling on this side so we just have a smooth pivot here and then a smooth uh, body screw there everything is very nice nice little maker's mark there on this side we're getting vg10 for the blade steel and if you are wondering i will have links down in the description for this knife and for my viewers i will have a coupon code i believe for this knife that should take uh, a little bit off to a decent amount off i gotta find that out yet but when you, by the time you're seeing this, I will have everything figured out and down in the description, uh, which they, they have pretty good pricing. And then you add in a coupon code. It's going to take this down to a very reasonable price. And this thing really reminded me of a gent knife that's a crossbar lock. And typically you don't really combine those two. Uh, most crossbar locks, you know, as good looking as they may be, typically you wouldn't really classify them as a gent carry, but this thing really, really looks like a nice little gent carry. I've for some reason been into gent style knives over the last year or so. The pocket clip is nice and minimal, and I believe because of the way this is done, they have this ultra deep. You can't really get much deeper than, unless you do a, you know, very far or right at the butt end and then do a rollover. But I think this keeps it cleaner than having the hoop come up even further away from the knife. Now, sometimes that works really well, but I, I like the way they do this here. This should be able to just be twisted around and our lefty brothers out there should be able to carry this no problem i don't know that for a hundred percent certainty but i do believe that 
this should be able to be ambidextrous as well. So why don't we go ahead and we'll get our issuing stitches hank out here, which is always linked down in the description as well. Gball10, all caps, gets you 10% off at his Etsy store, which is always linked down below. We have our Deadpool Hank here today. Yeah, that's going to be nice and deep there, guys. Uh, you won't see barely anything poking out of the pocket there. I love the look of that pocket clip with the three uh, grooves cut out of it. Looks great. Nice and sleek. It's not too long of a pocket clip either. Uh, yeah, this thing... This thing is really, really nice. I, I fell in love with this knife the moment I saw it on their website. The blade shape, the, the color of the micarta, the uh, anodized hardware, liners, crossbar lock. If you're wondering about the crossbar lock, we have nice, strong springs in there. And typically... Uh, from what my experience with real steel, they need a little bit of break-in, which is a great, great thing. Uh, that means everything is done very nicely in there. The tolerances are tight, and they're the way they're supposed to be. And then over time, they break in very, very smoothly. Uh, this is breaking in as I'm messing with it here. This is very very nice now i don't know if we can use can we use that fuller i don't know guys that might the springs are so strong if you flick it out with the wrist you can do it uh yeah you you have to use some wrist because them springs are very very they're not very strong to the point where it's unmanageable they're just they're strong, so it makes it kind of hard to get in there to that fuller. That's more of an aesthetic choice, I have to think. Uh, that was not a means for the deployment. Why don't we go ahead and we'll see what kind of edge they put on this guy. We have our thin, crappy magazine paper here. And uh, Real Steel, guys, is a company that I... I didn't have a ton of experience with uh, coming into the new year, but at this point, I've checked out several of their knives, and they are all very, very well done. Very functional knives. They all have been very solid out of the box. Nice, clean edges. Uh, solid, positive lockup. So, uh, if you're looking at a real steel... You know, I haven't checked them all out, obviously, but if you're looking at a real steel, uh, the chances are that it's going to be a pretty solid knife in my experience. Why don't we go ahead and we'll check it on some cardboard here. We'll go against the grain. This is just some, some single ply here. A little single ply for y'all. And, uh... VG10, guys, you might, you know, I don't know. You might be, I'm one of the people that I know VG10 is, it's a decent steel. It's, you know, it's not a super steel, no. Uh, but you're not going to be paying super steel prices for this knife either. So there's a, you know, there's a trade-off there. And then they have other knives that are similar to this, like the Pathfinder series and some other various knives that, you know, they have 14C, they have S35, I think they do 154. They have a bunch of different steels. Uh, and I have no problem with VG10 steel. Uh, Spyderco uses it. Uh, a, a plenty of companies use it. And I have a couple knives, uh, one in particular from Spyderco, and then I have a couple other ones that I've had for quite a while that are in VG10. And the, the, they're pretty tough. The corrosion resistance is I've had no issues. And typically if something, you know, is going to corrode, it's going to happen here over the summer because the humidity is off the charts here uh, throughout four months of the year. Uh, 
and I have had no issues. And then as far as edge retention goes, I think it's pretty damn good. Uh, I love this jimping here. The jimping that they do is very, very nice. That locks you in right there, man. I'm telling you guys what, that little, that little uh, uphill sweep here and then that jimping there, that just locks you in rock solid. That backspacer, that micarta backspacer is going to add into those ergos and be very, very comfortable. And this is a full-size knife. This isn't, uh, you know, a small knife by any stretch. We'll do a full overview of this knife, but just to give you a quick look here, we're looking at three and a half inches of cutting edge, three and three quarter inches of total edge, basically. And to the bottom of this screw here, we're at eight and a quarter inches. So definitely a very solid size. Even if you have bigger hands than mine, you know, say you have two XL size hands, I think uh, you'll be just fine even on this knife. I have plenty of room to move around on this thing. And the way this is done up here, you can really get a nice grip for an index type of cut here, or if you really need to choke up behind that edge for control, you'll be able to do that very easily as well here. Why don't we check that lock, make sure it's solid. We'll get the old spine whacker out here and give this guy a couple checks. Uh, there's no movement side to side, up and down. Very, very nice. I can get it to kind of, boy, if I really wrench on it. No, even if I wrench on it, I, I thought maybe there was a tiny bit of movement. What does that say there? Oh, this is a uh, Ivan uh, Braganitz design. Okay, he, he does a lot of real steels knives. I wasn't sure if it was him, but I, I got my first design from him this year. And I have to say, I like what he does. He designs a very functional knife. So let's see. We have positive lock up there. Let's make sure we are solid. We'll close it and open it again. Yeah, this thing's solid, guys. Uh, this will be, I think, the third or fourth one I've checked out from Real Steel that has a crossbar lock, and they have all been absolutely solid, guys. Uh, you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this guy. We'll do a full overview of this here in the coming days. But this is definitely something I look forward to putting in my pocket and using. This thing is just one hell of a great design. The contrast with the stone wash, the, the navy blue micarta, the accents. And they're not even really, I don't know what you want to say. They're, they're brass, but they're like antiqued almost. So it just, it really, it's not that like... Ah, uh, cheapo looking brass. You know what I mean? This looks very, very nice. Like it's been aged or antiqued almost. Uh, I really, really love the contrast. You'll have to let me know. Is this your flavor here or uh, not so much? Let me know down in the comments or just let me know what you're carrying today. I love hearing from you guys. Really appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the thumbs ups as well. That really helps the videos get circulated, guys. If you're new here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Would love to have you. Memberships are open and live. The link is in the description down below the video. If you have interest in becoming a member, we do weekly giveaways for the members. Uh, and you got a good shot because... It's a very limited number of members, uh, and we do all kinds of fun stuff for the members of the channel. I like to give back to the members, and that's one of the ways we do that, plus members-only content and a plethora of other things. Love you guys. Go watch another video, and I will catch you on the next one.